Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Green Note GCH01 cordless handheld vacuum cleaner. What I want to do today, first of all get it unboxed, show you some of the features and benefits that stuff is, then I'll give you a couple of demonstrations of it to see it in action. So, I always like to unbox products um, rather than just getting it all unboxed and ready to go. I like to see what the packaging and everything's like as well. So it looks like we've got a, a spare filter, a little carry bag, storage bag, that could be, could be quite useful. That's the, the bin. So it looks like we need to put it together, which shouldn't be, shouldn't be an issue. A quite a large book of instructions. Uh, I suppose that's going to, that will cover several languages, as I thought. We've got a quick guide. That's more my liking. If you follow me on YouTube for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of instructions. But uh, to see just a, a quick guide rather than a hugely thick instruction book is more at my street. Uh, this is the actual vacuum itself. There we go. So that's the that's the main body of the vacuum. So to put the vacuum together, couldn't be easier. All you need to do is just pop the filter on there and then you've got the outer filter shroud or cage, whatever you want to call it. That just locates around the outside and just clicks into place. And then all you need to do is just to put the bin on there. You, you have got a couple of, oh. <laughs> Get a bit enthusiastic there. So all you need to do is just pop the, the bin on there, locate it. You have got a couple of indicators just to show you where to put the bin and then you just twist it around and then that's locked into place. As far as the bin, it's a 0.5 litre capacity. So for this size of vacuum, it's actually a decent size. It's something I always tend to mention to customers. So if you are looking at purchasing a cordless handheld vacuum like this, have a look at the bin capacity because the last thing you want to be doing is always emptying it. It can get quite frustrating. Uh, things like the cleaning of it, uh, again, could be easier, just take it off. Because there's no electrical parts or wiring in here, then just give it a rinse under probably warm water, let it dry completely, and then you're ready to put it back on afterwards. As far as the filters, I did mention earlier that it does come with a spare filter. Now, again, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, you know that I talk quite a lot about this. Because, because these filters are washable, then what you normally have to do is you would normally have to wash it and then leave it for probably around 18 to 24 hours for it to fully dry before you can put it back in the vacuum and start using it. That can be quite frustrating, especially if you've spilt something and if you want to use it in between that time. Uh, and what Green Note have done is they've thought about this and they've given us a spare filter. So in theory, what you could do is you could actually wash one filter, put it on the side to dry, and then in the meantime, use the other filter so you don't lose any downtime with the vacuum, which is always brilliant. So let's just pop that back on there. There we go. And as I showed you accidentally earlier, the on and off button is just at the top here. So it's nice and easy when you're holding it just to press the button on and off. And you have got a plus button as well. I'll just show you that. Hopefully as you can hear, but what it did is actually increase the suction. So depending on what you're vacuuming, you could find that if you've got a really stubborn area where you need to get a lot up, uh, or it's quite difficult, then just pressing the button a second time, increase the suction. Uh, you will find that you get around half an hour runtime on the minimum suction. So if you wanted to vacuum quite a large area, just keep it on the minimum. Uh, but clearly that depends on the area that you vacuum in. If you did need the higher suction, then press the button again, but you will find that you won't get the same 30 minute runtime. You will have an indicator light on the front here, so that will flash red when it needs to be charged. And to charge it, again, couldn't be easier. You do get a, a USB lead to just pop it into a USB connection and then just plug it into the back of the vacuum there. And it normally takes around four, four and a half hours to fully charge, so it's not too bad. Uh, you will find, so the weight of it is around half a kilogram. Uh, so again, weight wise is pretty lightweight for this size of vacuum, which again is something I always think is quite important when you're looking at purchasing a handheld vacuum. As far as the tools and accessories, 
you do get this. So this is one of the little brushes. So it's quite a stiff bristle brush. And I'm give, gonna give you a demonstration of these tools in a minute. Uh, but that's a really good one. So if you had if you had something say on a carpet that's a little bit stubborn stain, uh, I mean I've got kids here at the moment, and sometimes if they're coming with say muddy footprint onto a carpet, then that could be a good tool to just get get that up. It just helps get sort of work into the carpet a little bit. Uh, you've also got this one. This is like an upholstery tool, slightly wider. So if you had an area, uh, for example, on the table here, I'm going to use this as a demo in a minute. Uh, where you've accidentally spilt some either coffee or cereal, um, coffee beans, should I say, or the powder. You shouldn't use this for liquids, uh, just to make that clear. Um, but if you had, say, cereal that you spilt on a table, then that could be a really good one to use. Uh, you do get a little brush. So this is a, a little stiff bristle brush. So when it comes to cleaning and things like the filter, then that could be a really good one to, to use. You also get a stand as well. So for storage purposes, that can just sit in there like that. Really good. Um, it's, it's little things like this that don't cost a huge amount to make and to put within the vacuum. I know there is a cost involved, but it's always nice when a manufacturer thinks about things like this, because there are many other cordless handheld vacuum manufacturers on the market where they're not doing this kind of thing. It just makes storage so much easier. Uh, and plus you, if you pop it next to a, a main socket, then you can have it on charge as well. And you've actually got storage at the back for one of the tools. Also, as part of the same accessory, if you just take off the brush part, then you do get a little crevice tool. And that's really good, I suppose, if you, for example, down the side of your car seat or down the side of your sofa, uh, where it's a little bit more limited in space, that's a really good one to use as well. Just before I give you a demonstration of this, I'm just gonna show you something that this vacuum can do that very, very few cordless vacuums can do on the market. So that's really a testament to A, the suction, and B, it being lightweight at only 500 odd grams. I think it's 520 grams. Uh, that really is impressive because you will find if you tried that with some of the other manufacturers of cordless vacuums, you definitely wouldn't be able to do that. So this is the first test of the vacuum. I've just got some breakfast cereal and I've just placed it on my stairs. Uh, this will be quite, quite a challenge actually, because it's a fairly deep hole carpet, uh, but let's see how we get on. I'm actually really impressed with that uh, because of the pile of the carpet. I've done this demonstration on other vacuums before and there's not been as successful as the green note. Second demonstration, I've just put a handful of grains of rice on the floor here. I'm just gonna be using the slightly wider tool. So this one should hopefully be a little bit better than using the other accessory. But let's see how we get on with this one. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, didn't, didn't struggle at all. And that's pretty much as I assumed, but clearly using the wider tool is gonna to be a lot better on this kind of surface rather than using the slimmer one with the brush. I'm actually really impressed with this, how well it performs on the pickup ability on the two tests I've just done. Also, the fact I can have it stuck to my hand, that really is fantastic. Well, it doesn't mean much, but it's just, as I said earlier, it's just a testament to the suction and how lightweight it is. If you're as impressed as I am, and you're thinking of purchasing one of these, I've provided a link below to show you how to get one and one that's a competitive price. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I know I could have done quite a few different demonstrations, but I just wanted to give you a couple of quick demos just to show you how well it performs. But if you've got any comments on the video, whether it's good or bad, then just put them in the comments. And if you've got any questions on the vacuum, then I'll, to be honest, I'm gonna be using this from now on. 
then uh, if you've got any questions on it, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, if you've got one of the Green Note handheld cordless vacuums, let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the honest feedback. Thanks for joining me today.